President Bashar al-Assad's 21-year rule is about to be extended for another seven years. He's run for a fourth term in an election where the outcome is not in doubt. The longtime leader stood against two largely unknown figures who aren't considered serious rivals and whose candidacy required the regime's approval. The exiled opposition wasn't allowed to take part. There are several constitutional, legal and security obstacles that not only deny the Syrians inside Syria from participating in these elections, and by that I mean the displaced Syrians in northern Syria, or even the Syrians who are in the areas controlled by the regime. Because even the Syrians who are in areas controlled by the regime do not have the freedom neither to vote nor to run for office. And many of the millions of people who live outside government control, mainly in the north, are refusing to give Assad legitimacy. They call him a criminal for killing and arresting tens of thousands of Syrians during the 10-year war. The elections won't help bring about a lasting solution. Millions of Syrians are refugees and they are losing hope of returning home. Some are afraid of retribution as long as Assad remains in power. Others say they won't return because the living conditions are so bad in Syria. Assad may believe he won the war, but there is discontent because of a collapsing economy. The Syrian leader hasn't been able to start reconstruction. He needs money, but the international community is refusing to engage with him. Russia will attempt to convey this as game over, to normalize Syria's relations with its neighbors and the international community, and to say that this actually adheres to UN Security Council Resolution 2254. The opposition, the United States, and many other Western nations disagree. They say the elections aren't free and fair, and there's no safe environment to allow all Syrians to participate. Resolution 2254 mandates that the UN facilitate the political process that would culminate in the holding of free and fair elections in accordance with a new constitution administered under UN supervision. Assad has so far refused to meaningfully take part in that process. Agreeing to political transition means losing his grip on power. He wasn't ready to do that when his regime was close to collapse years ago. His message has been and remains that the world must accept that reality. Zanakhoda Al Jazeera Bika, Eastern Lebanon.